What is good, my fellow NBA 2K fans? As we all know, every year we get glitches in the game that, that mess the game up and just make it harder to play. Uh, I'm not talking about VC glitches. I'm, we talk about gameplay, straight gameplay. But every year there's glitches in the game that make the game hard to play. Uh, missed green lights, layups in the backboard. Like all kinds of stupid things that could easily be fixed with some, some fucking elbow grease. You know what I'm saying? But once upon a time, in a, a NBA 2K very ancient in today's time, there was a glitch, a gameplay glitch, that worked out for the better if you weren't a cheeser anyway. So in NBA 2K11, there was a glitch that was never addressed. As long as I played the game, it was in the game the entire year. There was an animation, a defensive animation, that only the, the computer, the AI could trigger. It was like this little hop. It was like a reaction to like, if you took off, they would like do this little hop. And once they do the hop, only thing you had to do is just tap LT to trigger your, your size up animation. And what, if you tap LT as soon as they did it, it triggered an ankle breaker animation every single like not like oh it might get it this like every single time Woo, where you going mr mo williams you out of there they force people to play on ball like not everybody knew about it not everybody knew about it so it was like a lot of people would come in game and still be playing off ball but then by the end of the game after i've done it so many times they're forced to play on ball because it's an easy basket every time so today we're going to be going back to nba 2k11 and we're going to be figuring out if I can still do this or not. So as y'all can see, we are currently in the practice gym in NBA 2K11. And we're going to see if I can still do this, bro. Let's see. All right. So what are, what are we going to do? We're going to be looking for the animation. As soon as that, you got to do it quick. It's like, it's hard to do, bro. Even when I knew how to do it, it was hard to do. As soon as the animation triggers, you got to do it. So let's see if I can play some of that incredible defense that made LeBron leave Cleveland in the first place. Come on, here we go. Two hours later. There it go. Boom! You see it. Look at the stumble. Look at the stumble. And I paused it on accident, so Rose is going to miss that. So let's let's do it again. Now let's do it again. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot to get the ball. Now we got to play defense. I was not trying. I'm not trying to play 2K11. Look at this motherfucker Anton Jameson shimmying me, bro. Chill out. Nigga, damn. Let's see if we can get him a couple more times. There it go. Nope. Not fast enough. There it go. Nope. Not fast enough again. There you go. Nope, that's not it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Boom, you see the move, bro. Guard up. And if this was 2010, then I would have hit that jump shot because, you know, I, I don't know how to time a 2K11 jumper. Nine years later. Oh, my God, glitch like a mug. Bro, look, Carlos Boozer, play some defense, nigga. Oh, my God. If you'd have told me today when I woke up, I was going to be getting... Cooked by 2K11 Anton Jameson. I would have laughed in your face. Play defense, Boozer. Golly. Then he about to drop the board. So, of course, I'm going to edit all of it out. But I've been doing this for a minute. Like, I've been trying to trigger this animation for a while. And I've only gotten it twice. This is crazy, bro. How on earth? See, that's how you know when you're a kid, you're better at games. Like, it was so simple. Like, it was, it was second nature. You just had to know how to do it. I, now I know how to do it. And I still can't do it. All right, real quick. What is this look on my face? You can tell for a brief moment when you look at my face that I completely forgot I was recording the video. At this moment, it was really about just proving to myself that I could still do it. There we go. That's another one. And you got to knock that one down, Rose. Thank you. So as y'all can see, it's a very small window, bro. It is a super small window that you can do it. There it go. See? There it go. You, you try You get it a little bit more. As they're jumping, you got to tap it. And for some reason... My brain and my fingers are just not on the same wavelength. So it's uh it's gonna see? Nope, that's not it. Not fast enough. Oh, there we go. Where you going, Mo Williams? I think what makes this so hard is not only the small window, but the fact that you gotta be damn near stationary when you hit the trigger, or it just won't even it won't even pick up. Like it won't even pick up the fact that you did the move. There it go, see? You gotta be like fucking stationary. So now imagine, imagine being, imagine playing 2K11, you know what I'm saying? You go online, you just now starting to play. Or imagine this was your first 2K and you're not good at the game, bro. You go online, you say, let me, let's go, let's go test my talent online against some, some, uh, some real people, bro. And you come up against somebody, you know what I'm saying? Your defense ain't the greatest because you never really played a basketball game like that before. So, you know, while you're in the transition phase, 
you're playing off ball defense because you're learning how to play the game, right? Right, right. Okay. So now imagine as you're running up against one of these people, you see them doing a tactic that has you niggas suck, bro. No wonder Brian put y'all niggas out every year, bro. They getting sauteed by 2010 Anton Jameson. But anyway, you can't even you can't even off ball because every time you play as somebody who's not the man guarding the ball, it's gonna be a point every single time. Now imagine that was your first 2K. You know how mad a nigga would have been, boy. Oh my god. Oh my god, boozer. All right, I'm gonna get one more stop, and I'm gonna fuck Mo Williams up. Just because, you know, all right, yeah, nigga. Bump the move. I'm about to sauce your ass, nigga. We want the dunk. Oh, yeah, 2K11 cheese. I know y'all remember the 2K11 spin dunk cheese. I love it. I love it. Bring it back. Well, actually, it is back. I forgot. It is back. Let me get, we're going to get one more animation, and we're going to get out of here, bro. We're going to get one more of these animations just to prove that, you know, I'm raw with it. Even though it took me like three hours. <laughs> Even though it took me forever. To get the little bit that I have gotten. Oh, there we go. Where you going? Why are you stumbling over here? Get this Jimmy in your mouth, nigga. Gross. So as you guys can see, 2K11 had a very strange glitch in it. A very strange glitch. That, you know what I'm saying? It, it literally changed the way that you played online. You had not. It, it wasn't like a super common thing that people knew. I was probably the only person. I, really, I was the only person that I knew who knew about it. I played against other people and I showed it to them. But yeah, that's a that's you know that's crazy. That's a crazy glitch to be in the game. I'm obviously not as good at it as I used to be, considering it took me goddamn 30 minutes to record this a little bit of practice. It's prob y'all probably gonna get four clips out of me pr being in this gym for like 20 minutes trying to trigger that animation. That's wild. Please drop a like for me having to sit through Carlos Boozer getting incinerated by a past his prime Anton Jameson. That's wild. But if you enjoyed the video, man, be sure to leave a like. And as always, I'm B Brown Shanghai. And I'm up out of here, man.